Hey everybody, Thomas Seriously Fast Media here, and I would like to address the false accusations that have been spread out since last night about one of our NASCAR personalities, one of our one of our NASCAR drivers. So for those of you guys who are not informed on the situation yet, last night a video was released of someone with the name Tanner Gray on iRacing making racial statements and racial jokes, so to speak, or, or that's what some people are calling it, um, against Middle Easterners, uh, Muslims. So a lot of people, including, and I've only noticed one massive online personality, but a lot of smaller online NASCAR personalities, as well as fans all over social media have come out and almost immediately, I don't even want to say almost immediately, immediately come out and accused Tanner Gray uh, of racism. And now, let's be completely honest here. False accusations are dangerous. They are excruciating excruciatingly painful for people who have absolutely nothing to do with the situation. As it turns out, Tanner Gray did not have anything to do with the situation. Tanner Gray has not been active on iRacing. Tanner Gray, he lives in North Carolina. He's from New Mexico. Uh, this, uh, I, excuse me, this iRacing profile was from Georgia somewhere. Uh, a lot of people jumped on the bandwagon instantly to accuse and condemn Tanner Gray of racism. Now, here at Seriously Fast Media, myself being the founder and obviously the, the most active individual, as well as the other folks that I have working with me, whether they be freelancers or people who are on full-time we condemn racism by anyone in any way, shape, or form. That kind of goes without saying, and it absolutely should. But here's the thing. False accusations don't only harm the public face, the driver, the athlete, the crew chief, the owner, the, the basketball player, the baseball, whatever. False accusations can not only harm a career, but they can also hurt that person individually, mentally, physically, financially, and that, of course, can go on to lead to harm their team, who may or may not have anything to do with it anyway, uh, and their families. That can get, destroy lives. And we as a society absolutely have to get away from accusing people of things unless you absolutely have fact. So I had a couple people come to me and say, Tom, why did you not report on this? You want to be seriously fast media, you want to be up there, you need to go out and uh, post this stuff. Condemn it. Do you support the racism? You haven't condemned it. And it's unacceptable, those accusations against Tanner. And here's the thing. I am not going to post unless it's factual. I'm not going to post unless it's true. Uh, there are a lot of people out there who are after the clicks and the comments and the likes and the potential followers from that, I'm not. I would rather have Seriously Fast Media be the last to report on something, as long as we have the facts. I would much rather be that than have Seriously Fast Media be the first ones out there and have nothing factual to back the story. I had one of my freelancers wrote a quick little article and wanted it posted. He sent it to me and that's how I learned about the whole situation. It was within the first hour or so. And I read it. Good writing, no facts. So I told him I'm absolutely not going to publish that. And explained why. And he completely understood my, my premise on that. And that's why we're not. So with that being said, I vow to never post clickbait ads, clickbait articles, or anything of that nature on Seriously Fast Media, whether that be the YouTube, the website, the Instagram, the Twitter, any of it. We will not post clickbait, and we sure as hell will not post false information just for, or even unproven information. If it proves to be true, then you'll get it. Just for clicks, just for likes. I'm not going to do that. I refuse to do that. 
hope you guys completely understand my premise on this and my, my, my siding on this. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy the content that we bring you where we actually do the research first. Thank you.